Are you a student of architecture, questioning the day you chose to study architecture? Or are you a fresh graduate with no idea of what to do next? I've been coming across a lot of people like that recently. And something is definitely not right with the way we are teaching architecture in India. Most of the architecture graduates I come across are either unsure of what they actually studied in the five-year course, or they are completely sure that they do not want to continue architecture. The reason? There is a huge gap that exists between what they learned in school and what they actually witness in the real world. But why does this gap exist? In this video, I will try to break down all of the factors that contribute to the skill gap and the education gap in architecture, and I hope that identifying these problems will help us pitch solutions for improving the way the industry works. Firstly, the syllabus itself is pretty outdated. In the words of well-known architect A.G.K. Menon, the entrant to schools of architecture must demonstrate their aptitude for science and mathematics, reflecting the colonizer's objective to produce local surveyors and civil engineers to assist British architects. The values and methodologies being taught in most of the architecture schools are derived from the pedagogical structure of the pre-independence era, which was developed by the British to create surveyors and draftsmen. Design and architecture are fields that are constantly changing, and a stagnant syllabus with old-school curriculum and teaching methods is not going to help. Then, there is a massive dearth of experienced teachers in these schools. This became especially prominent after the mid-90s when the Ministry of Education, then called the Ministry of Human Resource Development, issued a notification that prohibited teachers of architecture from engaging in professional practice. This created a huge disconnect between the pedagogy and the profession that is still visible today. The question to ask ourselves here is, how is innovative learning and research supposed to happen if the teachers are completely cut off from the real world? In fact, Rumour has it that teachers in architecture are those who failed at practice. Finally, the huge number of architecture institutes that have sprung up across the nation are adding fuel to the fire. There are more than 450 institutes registered with the Council of Architecture. But a lot of these institutes are unable to produce competent architecture graduates that are skilled for the new age digital workforce required in the industry. The Council of Architecture of India describes the issue in their Perspective Plan for the Growth of Architectural Education, published in 2020. These institutes, moreover, are clustered only in specific regions of the country, leading to overcrowding of architects in one part of the country and an acute shortage of them in the other. Now the question is, what can be done about this? There are two parts to this answer, policy and personal. At the policy level, radical changes need to be introduced. The National Education Policy of 2020 is a welcome step in that direction, providing multiple entry-exit points and changes in curriculum in the various disciplines of architecture and design. The Council of Architecture also released the Minimum Standards of Architecture Education 2020 that reflected on some of these changes, an option to exit after the third year and more focus on hands-on training and industry trends. But these changes are gradual and not necessarily effective. If you are a student of architecture or a recent graduate, there is another way out for you. Realize the problem that surrounds you and start looking for means beyond the curriculum to prepare yourself for the real world. As a student, academic assignments do not always provide you the opportunity or the exposure to think critically or even explore new ideas. Participating in competitions and conferences and other extracurricular activities can help you in these explorations better. And then, as you graduate and enter into this tech-savvy world, you realize that the AEC industry is increasingly employing technology and digital media to work efficiently. A recent report by McKinsey Global estimated that by 2030, employees will spend 69% more time working digitally. Even the World Economic Forum has claimed that by 2022 itself, more than half the working population would need to be upskilled in relevant digital skills. Architecture firms are looking for employees that are well-versed in the new age skills like BIM and computational design. In fact, a recent survey by the UK's National Bureau of Statistics found that the use of BIM, which is driving the digital revolution in architecture, is now being used by 73% of the firms in the industry. A few hours of scouting over the internet would give you a fair idea of the new trends of the AEC industry. 
Dig in some more and pick out relevant courses, tutorials and workshops to upskill yourself and keep up with the industry trends. If the system is part of the problem, then you are part of the solution. For more such insights, subscribe to our YouTube channel and log on to 1s2x.com if you want to upskill in industry-relevant architectural skills.